Hello, in this video I'm going to explore uh, 606 working with the RTC Eclipse client. So I'm um, effectively, uh, we're going to look at some of the icons in the Rhapsody browser and how uh, Rhapsody sees the information about what's happening in Eclipse for models. So I'm going to start, here I've got a, a blank model, blank folder, uh, I've got Jazz Ignore file here which is effectively setting some properties to ignore uh, and I create my model in this folder so let's copy this run the wizard let's create a mouse trap requirements project and I'm going to use my latest helper here uh, I've not enabled the model manager because I want to set some properties before I set up the project. So let's effectively create the project first. I'm going to use my helper to essentially populate the structure for capturing mice. Notice that uh, I've set properties here at model level to say whether a diagram saved unit or a package is saved unit. So here we can see these are units and if we look in RTC we can see what's been captured. So having done that, I can now enable the model manager. So here's our first icon. Effectively, the unit isn't in CM. Save the project. We now have an outgoing change set. Let's navigate to the pen and changes view. Here we can see the file in that outgoing change set. Let's check in the ignore file. So that's icon number one. Let's deliver. Now the files are checked in. We have no pending changes. Let's switch users. Okay, we can see there's a delivery in our pain and changes view. So she can accept this change and she can open the model. Ah, uh, let's get a little more interesting. Let's make a change. And deliver that change. Here we can see the outgoing change. And if we navigate using here, you can see the change set's ready to go. So we'll deliver it again. And we'll switch workspaces to Bob. Wait 
for clips to, to load. So we don't have this change, but we can see an incoming icon which tells us that there's a change that needs to be accepted. If we navigate okay, pending changes, well, let's suppose that we create a new structure. Well, I've got incoming changes here, but I've got outgoing changes. By working in separate packages, I don't get a conflict. I can go to the pending changes view. I can try to deliver. Ah, for delivering, I need to accept. So let's make a change here. Make a change here, save. I now see that we have a well, potential conflict. So let's effectively accept the incoming changes, resolve the conflict. It's always merged. Got it. We now have an outgoing change set. That we can deliver.